<laughs> you are now smelling the stench cast. What's that smell? <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to Stenchcast. We, uh, yeah, Stenchcast is in plural. Uh, we are your host, Pench. And that guy that's named the other one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, today, I'm playing a bit of Bone Lab. Joe is in his Steam library, still trying to figure out what the fuck he wants to play. No, actually, I'm playing BO3. No, you're not. Yeah, you're right. I'm actually in my Steam library trying to figure out what the fuck I want to play. Indeed. That's what I said. Fucking idiot. But it is what you said. So why'd you copy me? <laughs> <laughs> why'd you copy me before I could say the thing? <laughs> Where? I need to find the funny. But anyway, uh, I wanted to start off today with a story of today. Wow. Um, today in my gym class, we went to the weight room, which... Is a new thing this year, I guess, where the we try, where we try to <laughs> lift as much as we can and do our best to improve every time we go. Um, oh, why is it so fucking laggy? And um. And today, we did... Well, last time, we just did benching. This time, we did benching and squatting. Four sets of H. Four sets of eight for each. Four sets of H. Heroin. For real. Um, and... I, like, can't feel my fucking legs. I'm surprised my arms aren't more sore, but I'm sure they will be tomorrow. Yeah. Um, so, you know, <laughs> it's a whole thing. Is this for but, like a uh, class or is it just like something? I doing? just said it's for gym class. <laughs> well, I wasn't. I didn't care. So. <laughs> Real. <laughs> Ain't nothing. Freak fast bear. Freak frazzle bear. Buddy, can you just? Ain't nothing. Oops. Probably just ejected two perfectly good shells. That's okay. Who? Oh, why didn't it jump? But, uh... Uh, I did better than the first time that I went. Uh-huh. Huh. Which, the first time, I only lifted 60. And... Well, 65. And this time I went to 85. And I also squatted that much. So that was pretty cool. And I'm also being a total fucking gangster right now and landing every fucking headshot. Like a boss. Real. I'm just gonna reload quick. Ooh, stop it. I forgot that's another thing. Okay. Me when I, I'm looking through my Steam library trying to figure out what to play, and I think of a game that's not a thing. I forgot. Yeah, that's real. I guess. Oh! Yeah. Did you, did you finish your thing? My story? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Um, okay. I'm just, I'm fucking dead in all of my limbs. I feel like yeah. a paraplegic. Lol. And it's gonna be even worse tomorrow. I can't move his limbs. Shit. Comply! Bitch. Yeah. Something that happened to me that wasn't um, today or nor is related to anything but a uh, work story uh, for me. So as we uh, as previously mentioned, my place of work is not in the best of places. Um, Think about, like, the hood, except white <laughs> people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly like that. Um, but, basically, there was... I was working the one... Uh, I think it was... Monday, no, actually, I think it was... 
Uh, fuck, when was it? I think it was... It was at least like a week ago by now. Yeah, I think it was Monday, so like a whole like week from now ago. Um, I was working, and there was two other people in the ship, or uh, there oh, with shit. me. Um, and they were staying till close, I believe. Whereas I was leaving at, I think it, I think it was one, like one thirty. I was Stop leaving or something resisting. like that. One or two, I don't know. But uh, they, <clears throat> or rather, the someone walked in. Um, you know what? What's happened? I was just music playing. Okay. Uh, but basically, uh, someone walked in, you know, normal customers walk in all the time. But, oh, quiet. This, this person was a little different. Um, so they, they walked in, they were carrying a suitcase with them. Um, so I had assumed that they were friends. But at the same time, I had seen them um, one other time before. And it was, I believe, just a few days ago. Um, they didn't, I was, well, they didn't come into the subway, or not that I know of, but I, I was coming in for a night shift, it was like 3 o'clock, and this person was walking to the, not really subway, or, not, not the subway, but the, like, strip of stores that, the strip club. um, yeah, the, the GTA yeah, going to the strip club, strip club, yeah, no, but she, um, was walking down from the the fun uh, places where all the the insane, I mean, totally normal people live. <laughs> all the crackheads live. Crack and heads. yeah, and um, that that first Ooh. time I saw her, I did. I don't think she, I. I don't believe she was carrying a suitcase with her. So this was new. She was carrying a suitcase. Uh, this Shit. second time. I she, this time she also. Came into the store. Um. Oh, shoot! Get this. Okay. But basically, oh, I'm trailing off here because I'm 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 game. But what happened was she came in this Monday. Um, I believe it was around like two o'clock. Uh, no, no, I believe I was leaving at two. She came in around like one, something like that. <clears throat> but she came in and she was ordering a sandwich. And while she was ordering the sandwich, she was um, talking to the guy who was making the sandwich. It wasn't me, it was a, another employee, co-worker of mine, who was uh, making the sandwich. <coughs> and they were talking. Well, rather, she was talking to him. So I thought, you know, oh, maybe they're acquaintances. You know, they know each other. Um, but, turns out they, they don't. They, like, this is the first time he's ever seen this person, like, ever. And he, he lives... In that like bad area, um, he himself is not um, not affiliated, but like just not a crackhead, basically. Yeah. Um, and he had said like he's never seen this person like ever before in like the like apartment buildings that all these crackheads live in. So the fact that she was walking down from that area, um. I was like a mystery, like was she, well, I don't know what she was doing up there, but you know, whatever. But basically, uh, she was chatting him up, and I couldn't hear what, what was being said because I was at the other end, um, ringing up the order. But um, I started to hear the conversation once they moved down the line, and um, the guy, probably one of the weirdest conversations I've ever heard in my entire life. Well, I say conversation, but it was more of like, almost incoherent rambling from this woman. Really? Um, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> basically, <clears throat> she was, like, overwhelming him with, like, like just talking to him. And I remember he was, like, trying to ask her, like, oh, do you want, like, your sandwich toasted? And she was just, like, going on and on and on. And the only thing I really tuned into here... I, 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 the only thing I really tuned into really? here was... Um, just really odd because the first words i heard her say was like there's two murderers living or not not even living just like somewhere she pointed like off in the direction of the apartment it's like there's two murderers over there and i was like what <laughs> all right no i was like all right what's going on 
And then she then she starts going on something about I guess they killed her children. Apparently, these murderers had uh, killed her children. Yes, yeah, uh, honestly, good for them, you know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> to be able to kill a couple of kids and just get off scot free, you know, have Purple nothing Game happen. Moment. Apparently, I, I guess I don't know. Fuck, where was that map? There it is. That's a real Purple Game moment. Yeah, uh, but I was like, <laughs> what? Uh, I I try like as she was telling, well, rather us. I I kept just trying to not really give any responses. Conversation because I did not. It's not a conversation. Um, so I, I kind of just <laughs> let her let her just ramble to my face as I was like trying to ask her like, hey, like, is this is this all you need? Like, was what do you like whatever else and whatever. But she she bought the sandwich. She went down. She she went sat down and started eating it. <clears throat> and I guess as she was eating her sandwich, she was also talking to herself because uh, one of the other um, one of my other coworkers was there. She went out to I forget what she wanted to do, but she or, or the, I think the bread was ready. She had to go um, put that in the oven. Yeah, and she was uh, went out and she was like she came back. She was like, yeah, she's like she's like talking to her sandwich or something out there. And was, that's when I was like, oh. Oh, she's crazy. She's this this woman's absolutely crazy. And this, other than the um, like crackhead that I had um, spoke about a few times before, uh, I believe last episode, and then a while ago in another episode where she gave this fucking green doll to me, and then she walked up to the drive to piss me off severely because I it just I don't know, it just clicked in my brain wrong. Clicked in my um, brain rod. Yeah, but this is like the only, the only other time I've really run into like a, like a true crackhead, like an absolute fucking crazy, insane person. Um, yep. so I, I, I was really like, kind of didn't know what to do. So I just, I sat, I just, just stood in the back, just like watching through the camera, like seeing if she's like gonna do anything, like whatever's gonna happen. I don't know. That man just did a flip. That was pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> but, I mean, other than, like, talking to herself, uh, she didn't really do anything out of the ordinary, except for whenever she um, went to leave. Um, she, I think she, like, half her sandwich wrapped up the other, the other half. And then she, like, really hurriedly um, scattered to get up. I, I don't, I'm just fucking pulling words on my ass now. But she... <clears throat> She tried to like leave the store in a in a quick manner, where she bumped into like a, a table on the way out. She was not sprinting, but like hastily moving towards the exit. And I was I was like, what? What? And and that's that's where I thought that's where I thought everything would have ended. She would have went somewhere, I guess. Uh, maybe not home, I because there's probably a serial killer there or something. I don't know. Right. Uh, but she she wouldn't have come back. But I, I was wrong. Um, she didn't. She did come back, but not while I was there. So um, what happened was I was leaving, and I was going to my car to drive home. And as I was getting, in, I saw. I, I noticed um, she was talking to this other lady because she was still like wandering there. She was like walking up and down, like the the strip of the was there doing something um i don't know what but she was just a waltzing up and down absolutely crazy man. right and i saw her talking to this woman and i guess she may have the this woman she was talking to offered her a ride or something because they both got in a car and drove off and i was like okay that's that's fucking that's weird i guess um like, but whatever, you know, I'm going home. Fuck that noise. Uh, I ain't a part of this no more. Um, but then I, I come into work the... Not the following day, but like a couple days after. Um, and I hear from the <clears throat> the other guy that was uh, there with us, the my coworker. 
I hear from him that um, apparently she had come back later that day. Uh, I don't know how, if the that woman that offered her ride drove her back, or if she walked back, or if she got another ride, or what happened. But she came back, and... Um, uh, what? Okay, what did they say? Um, I don't think she... I don't know if she bought anything else when she came back, but I guess she came back and was, like, sitting in the dining area. Or whatever. And... I guess she had thought that... My male co-worker that was there was the only one there. Which he was not, but uh, he had, at one point, wanted to go down to the shop five pack of cigarettes. So, my female co-worker had, uh, just was like, yeah, you can go out, I'll, I'll keep watching the store, whatever. And after he left, um, this crackhead lady apparently decided it would be a good idea to try and go behind the counter. And <laughs> it's like, alright, that's, that's enough, that's not cool, man. Like, don't do that. I definitely but, wouldn't say so, no. Yeah, no. Um, but yeah, she was, she was like, oh yeah, you know, like, the only person that was here, I guess, is, is gone, so I might as well go and potentially rob the store or something. Uh, but the, um, my coworker oh, came out and was like, hey, oh. what's going on here? And the lady was like, oh, I, I didn't know you were here. I was, uh, I don't know, I was doing something. I don't know what, she, what her excuse was for trying to um, go behind the counter. It was definitely not a good one. Um, and after the my other co back, I guess they had apparently called the cops on her and supposedly arrested her. I'm not entirely sure. Um, didn't really catch that the ending. If there if there even was like a a resolution to that, or if I'll see her again in the coming days, I don't know. But that was it, it was definitely some sort of crazy. I did not some, expect. Some bad juju, dog. This for real, man. Ugh. Yeah, oh. I I have a few Sorry. like encounters with crackheads. Not like personal, like up and up close encounters, but I've had quite a few times where because I, I I live in the white people hood filled with crackheads, so I, I, I understand. Yeah. But, uh... <clears throat> like, around my house, I, I've seen quite a few crackheads. There was a, one time I've talked about before on Stench where, you know, the multiple fire trucks were outside of uh, a house up the road from me, about two houses up the road across the street, shining lights on the house, and generally, like... Honestly, they saved on our electric bill because for the entire, like, two hours that they were there, uh, the our entire house was lit up as if, you know, we had our lights on, so. You uh, know? As if the sun has just descended upon Earth. Yeah, kind of. But, uh. With all the death. <laughs> there was one not so recently. Um, which that, the one I just mentioned was even less recent, but still. Um. <clears throat> this one was a crackhead we saw outside of the bar across the street from us and he was shirtless and kind of just slapping his chest repeatedly it was really fucking weird um like it, he was like yelling about something no one was near him and then eventually like someone came and intercepted him, I suppose. Uh, yeah. Someone that knew him. Or tried to, at least, because if I remember correctly, he went behind the house directly across the street from us, and then we just didn't see him again. The police even went looking for him. We saw their flashlights in the woods behind the house across from us. And, uh... We just... We never heard of him again, or never saw him again, nothing. Crackheads are scary, dude. You're fucking wacky as shit, dog. <laughs> There was the one dude uh, at the restaurant we went to, if you remember, Joe. Yeah, I don't even know what he said, but it was it was wacky. Well, originally he was kind of just staring at us, and it was really weird. It's, it was this like older gentleman with a Santa-esque beard. Um, it was literally Santa Claus. 
And at first he was kind of just staring at us. Uh, but then when he left, he said something about, like, thankful days or some shit. And it's just like, dog, what? I swear he was saying something about the Grateful Dead. I think he did say something about deadheads. Which, that's, like, the name of Grateful Dead fans. Yeah. Maybe he was just, like, saying we look like them. I wouldn't be surprised, but I was wearing a Metallica yeah. shirt, so... Yeah, I, I don't listen to them. Grateful Dead is such a disappointment of a band. I just upset <laughs> a lot of, like, boomers. But, <laughs> yeah. like, with a name for a fan base like the Deadheads and a band name like Grateful Dead, you would think, oh, this is going to be some, like, heavy metal type shit. No, it's, it's just psych rock. And it's not good at that. Um, and it's the same thing with uh, the Rolling Stones. I really don't like the Rolling Stones. I have a shirt with the Rolling Stones on them, but still. Um, I had, There is one reason in particular I don't like the Rolling Stones. And it's because of the song Sympathy for the Devil. When I first heard the name of that song, I thought, oh, this is going to be either like a really somber acoustic guitar song... Or it's going to be, you know, a really heavy metal song. It's neither. It The first half of the song is alright, but then the second half is just noises. <laughs> yeah. It, that song is fucking terrible. The second half of it, anyway. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I just really... I really don't like the Rolling Stones. What's a band you find really overrated? Or a music um, group or I have no idea. I really like the only bands I listen to are ones I like, and then if I don't like them, I it's usually like one song I hear, and I'm like, man, I don't like that, and then I never listen to them again. I showed you Misfits. What did you think of them? Uh, it was all right. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I've been listening to a lot of Misfits. Uh, yesterday, which was Sunday, um. I woke up and decided at 11 in the morning, noon, you know what, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to listen to all of Famous Monsters, the entire album, and I, that's what I did, and it was great, and I've been blasting Misfits and Danzig in my ears all day at school today, it was epic. Aww. Speaking of which, uh, last week, uh, Friday... We had this really cool day with uh, my yearbook class where we were excused from all of our classes and the entire day was just dedicated to working on yearbook shit. And it was really fucking cool. Um, mm -hmm. Oddly enough, staying in one classroom the whole day made the day go faster, which is weird. But mm -hmm. uh, what is this? Halt? Hoyt dog. Okay. But, uh, it was a really cool day. We had lunch from this Japanese place, and I found out that I actually do like California rolls. Still don't like sushi. But, uh, yeah. California rolls are basically just sushi, except it's replaced with crab. Uh, like sushi rolls, but they're re replaced with crab. The fish is replaced with crab. Shut up. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think they had some of those at uh, where we went the other night. Maybe. Whoa! What the fuck? Yeah? What the fuck? I'm on the 7-Eleven map, and you know how it has the two towers with the elevators across the map from each other? Yeah. The fucking elevator just, like, it immediately started glitching out. I don't know it's- Ow. What the fuck just happened? What the fuck? Oh, I'm absolutely boned here. Actually, we might get copyright struck for this, but I'm going to go over to the funny place. There is a place on this map. I love Boba Corp for this, the guy that made this map. It's weird because it's a giant radio, and then there's a window where there's just a shit ton of shopping carts. But this radio plays a song by my favorite band.
one is too good at the game. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to go away from that now before it's enough to get copyright struck. But if you don't know, that was <sighs> Bad Country by Avenged Sevenfold. One of the best songs ever made. Definitely uh, one of the best guitar solos ever played. But, uh... Ugh. I don't know what we were talking about before the fucking elevator incident. Uh, we were talking about uh, food and... Rules. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, <laughs> I also found out that I'm decent at picking up rice with chopsticks. Epic. That's about all I've got for that. I, I completed all my work that day, so... I didn't have much to do. However... There is this kid in my cl in the in my yearbook class who showed me this mobile game called Gladi Hoppers, and it's actually one of the more fleshed out mobile games I've ever played, and it's really fucking cool. Joe, you, uh, we you want to talk about uh, after we went to the restaurant? Uh, yeah, I can. Um. So basically, this Saturday, well, no, it was Friday, that was Mad Max's birthday, um, and Saturday we went to uh, our local Chinese restaurant uh, for dinner, which, lovely as always, I fucking love that place. Um, oh, minigun. Uh, yeah, I got a minigun and I started gunning down everyone inside. I mean, uh, no, that was uh, something else. What up, yeah, no, but <laughs> yeah, no, but we went to a nice uh, restaurant, had some good food and eats and such, and it was, it was all nice and whatnot. Uh, but basically, uh, afterwards, we decided we wanted to hang out. We were originally planning on playing D&D, <clears throat> but right, uh, we yeah, decided that, that not was to. The plan. What'd you say? I said, yeah, that, that was the plan. Go ahead. <clears throat> yeah, but we, we decided against it because Mad Max said he probably wouldn't be able to stay out all night. But we ended up uh, staying, t like, till 11. Um, yeah. Which we... Stopped. We got. We left the restaurant at like seven, so we had a good couple hours. We could have played, but yeah, uh, it's it's fine. Uh, we we did get to um, hang out with everyone because if we would have played D and D, it would have just been uh, five of us because uh, we're the the five of us are the funny D and D guys. But um, we got to hang out with um, some other people that don't join us for D and D. Uh, which was, it was alright. Um, <clears throat> and we decided on my house because, um, well, it was originally supposed to be, um, no one was going to be home at my house, but then yeah, that just didn't happen, so it was whatever. Um, but we, we, we had a kid in my house to hang out, which didn't last too long because, um, everyone just started destroying my house, like pulling the bricks out of the walls and, like, like burning it down and stuff. I'm, I'm not sure, quite sure that that's exactly uh, how that happened. No, no, that's that's what happened. I was there. It's okay. my house. Also, <laughs> I, I, I've been looking at Ford this whole time, pretending it's you, and now I'm gonna shoot him in the head. Anyway, continue. Look, I understand you're dead and all, but we have a show to do. So could you? Yeah, you're right, man. I'm stop being a baby and man. Um. Anyway, <clears throat> where was I? Here. Uh, uh, yeah. So basically, so <clears throat> uh, we <clears throat> sorry, my throat. all flummed up. <clears throat> but we came back to my house. Everyone was uh, tearing apart. Blah blah. Uh, it, it lasted, like, less than an hour, probably. Um, Jordan was just sitting on my bed, um, Probably scrolling through Nerf Amazon gun. looking at Nerf guns. That too, yeah. <laughs> it, like, <laughs> like that's, that's pretty I much all I did while I don't know else, why, like, but, like, me playing with the Nerf gun that you had, like, awakened something in me that, like, I realized... Man, if I realized how much I loved guns, like, sooner, when I was a kid, I would definitely still have all my Nerf guns. Yeah. Uh, and I would just, like, fucking... I just kept reloading it over and over again, which I would <laughs> absolutely do if I had my own. Which I, I've, I've been looking at trying to find someone who is selling... Like, a retailer who is selling the one I used to have, which is the Nerf N-Strike... 
elite, I want to <clears> say. <throat> something like it's that. It's something like that, yeah. Um, but it was really cool. Um, and I have found a bunch of, like, eBay pages, but eBay is kind of sketchy. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, but, yeah, we... we Less than an hour that lasted before we went to um, Gibby's place where we had originally, uh, where we played D and D last. Actually, um, <clears throat> we're hanging out there. Uh, all we really did was chat and have fun. What does that sound? Oh, it's that thing. Um, yeah. I mean, there's not really. I can't really say there's much noteworthy stuff. Yeah. Um, we went to people Gibby's. that aren't the same race as him. I'm sorry. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. We went to uh, Gibby's garage though, and that's where we're mostly hanging out, which is actually where we played D and D last time. I I said that. Is it? Did you? Yeah. I I didn't care. <laughs> yeah, I I understand. You I'll do that, that too. Before. Yeah. But, uh... Yeah, no, it was, a, it was a really fun night. Having fun with the boys. It's the first time we had gotten Boy. to do such a thing in a while. Indeed. Uh, oh! Another thing really worth talking about. The Ready or Not 1.0 update finally fucking came out! And no one cares. I... Definitely wouldn't say that. <laughs> Care. All right. Ugh, I can't grab the rug. Give me the rug. I want the rug. Give it to me now. Real. I have the rug. But I uh, have the rug. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um. Out of PG. <laughs> It's it's been a really fun update. There are some AI things that need to be tweaked, like the fact that the NPCs will shoot you through fucking walls uh, and objects to the point that like you'll enter a room and you'll think, "Oh, it's clear." And then an NPC you didn't know was there will shoot you through objects that obscured you from seeing them. So you'll still just not even know where they were. It's really fucking annoying. Sometimes they'll shoot you through things that you can't shoot through. And so you're kind of just fucked. But all in all, the update has been really fucking cool. Yeah. I, I've, I've been loving it so far. We actually got one of our friends into the game that doesn't usually play with us. Or yeah. uh, play FPS games at all, really. We can say his name because uh, he's actually in my Lethal Company video. It's Alvin. Yeah. Um... So me and Evan were kind of getting, showing him the ropes, and he, just like Evan got a grip of it pretty quick, he, he's a natural. He's really good. I think just like, we got everything. There was one time we were playing Lethal Company, and I don't remember if you were uh, playing with us that time, but it was me and Alvin, and we were, like, deep inside of one of the fucking Whoa! Rooms. Um, the moon's being your mother. Whoa! Um, so instead. Um, but yeah, we were we were like completely lost. It was like almost time to leave, and he just like like almost as if God's hand came down to guide us out of there. He just like immediately took us straight to the exit, like not even taking a single like, wrong turn. It was incredible. And then we then we and we still didn't make it anyway. So I mean, it was, it was a bit used. It was a bit like I probably was nothing, there, really. but staying in the ship where it's safe. What would you say? I said I probably was there, but I stayed in the ship where it was uh, safe. I know Justin. I think it was Justin that was in the ship. Um, because we didn't lose anything, but uh, me and Alvin got like really close, and it took off, and we cried together, while holding really each other in our arms. Each other. Got really close with each other. And had yeah. Man Speaking sex. of my lethal company video, it's literally out already. It, it came out um, no, it's, no, Monday it's night, which is no, when we're recording this. No, it's not. Joe has a one. problem with compulsively lying. He's a he's a liar. He's a oh, yeah, but that doesn't have anything to do with my Lethal Company video. He's a little dirty baby boy. 
Look, don't bring my terrible line problems and gambling problems into this, alright? We've got this. Okay. I don't need people knowing that I fucking blow a shit ton of money on a casino every once in a while. I'm gonna switch games now. Hmm. Are you telling me the entire event of Aurora Borealis is happening conveniently confined to your kitchen? Yes. Darcy? No. Oh. <laughs> oh. Have you ever actually watched The Simpsons? Um... When I was younger, I would always go over to my uncle's house, and he'd have it playing, but that's about the extent of it. I n have never watched a full episode of The Simpsons. Uh... Uh, the Spimmy Psalms. <coughs> but, <laughs> of course, I can, like, quote that entire fucking scene like nothing. Yeah. It's been memed all the hell. Exactly. But, uh, yeah, this is Hot Dogs, Horseshoes, and Hand Grenades, one of my favorite, uh, games on the planet. Loser. Because <laughs> it involves guns, very realistic simulations of guns. And that's A-OK -okay with me. Gun. Gun. But, uh, Joe, what word? Uh, we We actually have already talked about, like, favorite shows and whatnot. Multiple times, I believe. Yeah. That is true. Piece of shit. A little Ruger 1022. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I almost threw up. Real. <clears throat> oh, that was a bad one, too. Yeah. <sighs> Oh. Oh, what were the other topics we were talking about talking about and we haven't talked about yet? I think we went through them all, buddy. Mm, um, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, you're right, man. Um. Oh, the funny profile picture. Oh, yeah. So the other night I made, I decided, you know what? I'm going to make Joe a new profile picture. Because, I don't know why, but I suddenly thought, you know, there was one connection I've never made about Joe's name, and that's the fact that he has the same name as a character... Thank you. As a character from uh, one of my favorite childhood shows, The Amazing World of Gumball. Indeed. Which, that's a topic in and of, it of itself. Yeah. Yeah, because of the funny voice actor, man. But, uh... <clears throat> Yeah, I decided, you know, you know, Joe reminds me of Banana Joe. They're both similar enough. And so I decided I'm going to make a profile picture involving that one time Banana Joe gets caught watching Porringe. <laughs> Real. Uh, so I'm, I photoshopped that scene, uh, except Banana Joe is he actually just has homosexual pornography on his screen. Yeah. And, uh, it was epic. Indeed. And he had it as his profile picture for all of, like, 12 hours before immediately changing it to... <laughs> More like one hour. Uh, it's still on Steam, but... Um, uh, I the changed... one... Yeah. Let's just go ahead. <laughs> the, the one I made for, uh, the, the one I made, uh, I was originally trying to make a profile picture for my buddy Alvin. Uh, which we had just mentioned. Um, and basically, um, the background. Uh, you know, it's you know, it's just it's an, it's a cool profile picture I made him. I I kind of forgot what it looks like, but it's uh, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, actually, if you want to see the the profile picture, um, you'll have to join our Discord, um, and you'll see my uh, profile <laughs> picture. Um. But of course, by the time like anyone joins our Discord, it'll definitely be changed by then. Oh. Uh, but yeah, change I, it to the one I made then. No. Okay. Because uh, like the the reason I changed it on Discord and not uh, and kept it on Steam is because it works 
so much better on Steam. <laughs> Why is that? Because you remember the the uh, picture Jubbin like cropped of my Steam profile and sent to the Discord. <laughs> that shit got yeah. me acting up. That's fucking hilarious. It was. It was like Discord. My name isn't changed. It's just, it's just a profile picture and. It's a lot more funnier seeing that profile picture appear in the um, corner of your screen when I'm playing a game. Right. Or in a Lethal Company whenever I, uh, <laughs> like I die and then you also die and you just see my fucking profile picture there. It's like, oh, I gotta stare that at that on true. screen now. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, oh! Oh! So in the lunch line uh, yesterday um... Well, actually, today. No, it was today because it wasn't at school yesterday. It was it was Sunday. But today, uh, there was a, a police officer in front of me in the lunch line, and Jump I noticed. Gun. Well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was staring at his gun for a long time, trying to think. Oh, that's a single stack magazine. How do I, get that? I wonder, like, what gun this is. Uh. And so I asked him, I was like, hey, I know this is probably a really horrible question, but uh, what do you carry? And he said, a SIG. And I said, oh, that's, that's really nice. That's me. I, I can't think of any SIG Sauer guns that are a single stack, though. T- come to find out, the P220 is single stack, because that's what he was carrying. Mm. Um, and he said how much he hated it, probably because of that fact. <laughs> this thing's a piece of shit. Well, he oh, probably fuck. just hates the fact that it's single stack. <laughs> yeah. Because that literally halves your ammo count. Yeah. Um. But, yeah, no, not my proudest moment. I, I was, like, psyching myself up to it the whole time. And I was like, dude, just ask him. You're curious about it. It's fine. It's completely normal and just a gun. Not unhinged behavior to ask an officer about his firearm after staring at it for multiple seconds. Yes. Yeah, baby. I get to sleep Weapon. in. You hear that stench cast? Please ruin it. You hear that stench cast? Two hour delay, but- baby. Fun little oh, fact, lovely. by the way, I am holding my favorite bolt action rifle. Well, one of my favorites. Uh, the Lee Enfield chambered in 303 Brit. And the reason it is my favorite, one of my favorites, is because number one, 10 round magazine, and for a World War I bolt action rifle, that's pretty fucking epic, because most of the other ones only had five, including the Mosin Nagant and the Carcano Italian rifle. And also, they didn't make the fucking iron sights horrifically complicated to the point where they're like impossible to use. It's just a ring and a little fuck spike aperture thing. And it is so much nice. easier to use than the Mosin or the Actually, mouse. I haven't looked at the Carcano's iron sights yet, but hold on. There we go, I finally fucking hit it. But hold on, I'll, I'll pull up a Mosin quick. Mozambique. Oh! In case I haven't mentioned it before, I am a massive gun nerd. No, you're um, right. no yeah, you're right, man. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Let me... But yeah, here we have the Mosin Nagant, which the is... The Mosin what? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it is the Russian bolt-action rifle of both world wars. And uh, it's chambered in 762 by 54 r which means it's 76. It's literally just 762 by 54 but it has a larger rim, so that way it can be properly inserted in the stripper clips. But no, I really hate clips? these iron sights. They're perfectly serviceable, but I still hate them. However, when it comes to scopes, I enjoy the PU for the Mosin. More than I do the Lien field scope. Because it is such a perfectly neat little reticle. 
<clears throat> and then uh, let's I'll try and find the Carcano, but I don't think it's actually in this game. I'm gonna be honest with you. The Berthier Carbine? I'm sorry? I don't even want to look at that. Springfield, get the fuck out of my sight. Yeah, no, there is no Carcano in this game. That's really unfortunate. But, uh... Sorry. Yeah, no, I'm a massive gun nerd, so obviously hot dogs, horseshoes, and hand grenades, which is entirely <coughs> about firearms, appeals to me. Yeah. What's something you're a massive nerd about, Joe? Uh, these nuts. Other than, <laughs> other than anime um, and being a massive loser virgin. When you got me that? Like uh, me. No, D and D actually. Really? Well, no, that's part of the massive loser virgin. <laughs> um, uh, but uh, yeah, probably nothing. Uh, yeah, but no, but uh, D and D absolutely. Oh, oh, oh! What's that stand for? Sorry. D's nuts. Uh, uh dick. <laughs> yeah, actually, how'd you know? Because I'm epic. There is something I want to add that I absolutely despise about this game. Give me one sec. So, this game has two firearms that I absolutely fucking despise. The Zip-22, which, in real life, this thing jams every fucking shot. You'd be lucky to get two rounds in. And also, uh, to actually prime the weapon, you have to put your fingers in front of the barrel. So that's nice. Okay. And then there's the high point, which is another jamomatic gun, and it's also just the most ugly fucking handgun on the planet. And the review I left on this game is actually the high point and the uh, Zip 22 don't jam, unrealistic, unplayable, something like that. Anyway, real, some bullshit like that. Anyway. But uh, the thing I'm most happy about that's in this game is my personal favorite weapon of all time, the Galil. I fucking love the Galil so much. The Ganese nuts. Shut up! <laughs> and it, uh, it also, you're able to use the handle, which is epic. Epic. Shit. Brother, shit. Uh, Son of a bitch. I <laughs> Except I can't fucking aim, apparently. God damn it. Frank. Yeah, I've, I've been a massive firearms nerd since I was a kid. Uh, it started back when, like, the first video game I ever owned was Call of Duty World at War. Um, and that kind of decided what my interests would be for the rest of my life. Because... It made me a massive history nerd and a massive gun nerd. Yeah. Fun fact about the Galil. Um, I think it was Cuban soldiers that were doing this, but... Um, well, no, it might have been Israeli soldiers. But they were using these magazines as bottle openers, and it would warp the magazine and so they <clears throat> put a bottle opener on the gun real so that's kind of epic anyway totally based. I'm going to check how long we've been recording because I think that's a full episode baby yes it is well 50 minutes but we've kind of run dry of topics I think you're a fucking nail gun what do you think, Joe? Think it's a good yeah. time to end it? Yeah. Why the not? If you <gasps> want to do the plugging and such, then. <clears throat> Alright, um, so... We're the Stenchcast on the YouTube and the other platform. Um, Spotify. And we uh, upload every the every Wednesday. Every Wednesday at 1pm uh, Eastern. No, Are monkey! Real? Um, no sorry, more monkeys jumping on the pad! I just threw a monkey into the ocean. 
Uh, but anyway. Yeah, Spotify and YouTube, if uh, you follow and subscribe and uh, like and all, the, all, the, all the good stuff, you know, that you do on videos and podcasts. We also have a, a Discord that's completely free to join, which I'd mentioned uh, prior. Um, we can go hang out and do the, the whatnot and such. Um, it's pretty epic, I'd say. Uh, we also have um, <clears throat> a Patreon. And that uh, Patreon is only five dollars a month, which is pretty pretty good, I'd say. Um, that's what most Patreons are. Uh, it's not that much, and you don't even have to. You don't even have to. You don't even have to do it for like forever. You can just do it for a month and be done. This is a free trial, so if you just want to, um, uh, like seven, it's a seven day free trial. So if you just want to, um see what we have to offer uh and not like you know pay us uh, i mean that's fine uh but yeah it's uh but yeah you can do that and it'll, you'll get um early access to episodes uh ad free if we ever get ads and behind the scenes as well as exclusive content that you'll find nowhere else um because um it's just that epic and um as well as um, you can uh, if you if you do both the Patreon and the Discord, you get an exclusive role within the Discord, which gives you access to a bunch of other stuff and whatnot. And we also have we we have um our main channels, which you should definitely go check out. I just posted the Lethal Company video, like I had said, uh, my second Lethal Company epic funny clip video, which is awesome, and you should definitely watch that. And the, the Fallout and the latest <coughs> videos that I, I have and I've made and Jordan's making a video on Lethal Company and like some like some other stuff potentially mm -hmm. and definitely a bunch of stuff in the future and it's gonna be awesome. And you should you should totally do that stuff. Uh yeah, that I think that's it. Yeah. There's something like that. We will see you for the next episode of Stenchcast, which will be... Yes. I can never remember the... 44. Number. Yeah, 44. 43. Well, bye-bye. All fart on... Come fart shit. <laughs>